okay this is the air wheel 170 watt air wheel that as you can see it has a two wheels and double wheels on it what we're trying to do today we want to test them to find out what is going to be the top speed and when the buzzer is going to come out because it's very annoying according to the manufacturer spec it's supposed to come up somewhere around 12 uh, kilometer per hour that's going to be around uh, 8 miles per hour and they said this unit is capable of going speed up to the 18 mile per hour that is going to be somewhere north of the 10 mile 11 mile per hour I don't believe you can achieve such a speed and we've proven it to you guys right now at the same time I'm going to show you guys how you can extend the range of this unit I weight about something around 180 pounds with a current battery that is in there 170 watt I can travel something about five miles or so till the battery completely get drained. So this battery is already been fully charged. We are going to use a treadmill. This treadmill is capable of going speed up to the 10 mile with an increment of the 0.1 uh, mile per hour. And then we're going to check them out. I'm not going to get in top of the unit because we don't want to have a weight part of the equation. I'm just going to hold it in the hand in top of the treadmill and see how this thing is performing. To doing so, I'm just going to use a level right in here. I have a level. I put a double-sided tape on it. I'm just going to tape on right in here that it can we can see when the unit is level and for the higher speed past eight mile, the front of the uh, unit starts raising up. The front of the wheel start raising up, and the faster that you go, the farther that is coming up. It's becoming so uncomfortable that you cannot stand on top of it. At the same time, the buzzer is going off too. So let's just get after the test and see what we can do. I'm going to put them in top of the treadmill, holding them by the hand and turn on the unit. The unit is on and all of the LEDs are on. It says that the batteries are full. This unit is about a month and a half old, so but battery doesn't have that much life on it yet. So I'm just going to start raising the speed and start it. And we're going to go to start it. All right. Right now it's going to be, I'm just going to go to the three mile per hour, stop, and then we're going to wait till the, Actually, let me just go all the way to the five mile per hour. Then we're gonna stop and let the treadmill to get settled down with the speed. Okay, show the level. The level is perfectly level. The unit is going. As you can see, I don't put no, not much weight on them. I'm just holding the unit in a position with my finger. It's level. Speed is right now five mile per hour. I'm just gonna raise them to the seven mile per hour. Seven mile per hour right now. Now I'm just gonna go to the eight mile per hour. Eight mile, 8 8.1, 8.2, 8.3 mile per hour, 8.4, 8.5. See the front of the unit as you can see it's coming up. The level it shows the front is up. From this point, the buzzer does not go up if I'm going to increase the speed. I'm going to go all the way up to the 9 mile to see what's going to happen. And you can see the front of the unit is keep raising. The faster that I go, the, the higher the front of the unit is going to come up. And make it very uncomfortable to stand on top of it. This is 9 mile per hour. That is going to give you something around 14 kilometer, maybe, yeah, 14 kilometer per, uh, per hour, yes. Now I'm just going to go all the way to the 10 mile per hour. This is 10 mile per hour. I don't believe I'd be able to stand in top of this unit with this much slope that it has. And there's no way that I can push my weight forward because this is the way that the system is adjusting itself up. It's not that if you put the weight on it, you'll be able to level it up. So I'm just going to stop the unit now, slow it down. You can hear from the buzzing sound, you know what, what, how fast you're going. The minute that I go under 8.3 mile per hour, the buzzer is going to stop. Right now it's 8.5. Can you show the speed right in here? It's 8.5, 8.4, 8.3. And the buzzer stopped. So now I'm just going to go take them all the way down till the treadmill is stopped completely. 
Okay. Stop it. Let me just put them, turn them off, and put them back again in there. Frag in here. All right. So this is it, as I explained, with my weight that is about close to the 180 pounds. I can go about five miles with this thing, five, 5.2 miles, and the battery is gonna be completely drained. To extend the range on this thing, I bought extra battery. I bought 16 lithium ion battery, put them in a series format, it generating something around 62 till 67.2 uh, volt when it's fully charged. I use the wire that it has, it come and it has a positive and negative because all of those in the format of the series together is coming out. It has two connectors right in here, male and female. I use the male during the charging. I use the same charger that I'm charging this battery inside the unit. I charge them up and whenever I want to use them, I just put this thing upside down right in here. Open this and plug on me. And that's it. You just have to be careful the connector that you're putting right in here, positive, negative, if it's going to be in the wrong way, you're going to have a big firework and you're going to damage a lot of stuff. And I do have a piece of, uh, I do believe, Velcro somewhere that is tying this thing together and it's going to stay stationary. I can get in top of it. With the extra battery that I do have, it, these batteries are rated at 4200 milliamp or 4.2 amp times the 62 volt that I do have is going to become something around 250 watt. 250 watt and 170 watt that I do have right in here is going to give me the range of the somewhere between 16 to 17 miles without any problem. I already tried it many times. So if I don't want any extra battery, I just take this thing off. Or you can carry this thing by yourself in case if the battery goes down, then you can add this thing. It's causing the battery rapidly get charged at the same time you can use the unit. Again, these are 16 lithium ion battery that in format of the series, they connected together and I wrapped them inside some sort of the sponge and duct tape that in case if it fall, it doesn't damage anything. Again, the connector that they do have is the same type of the connector right in here. I have a female that is going to be right there. It goes when I want to connect on there and I'm using the male for charging the unit. That's about it. Thank you.